The existing diamond interchange is on the left, and the proposed diverging diamond is on the right. The DDI is different, with two signalized crossover locations, one at each end of the bridge. There is no turning traffic at these locations, minimizing conflicts. All right turns in the proposed DDI look and work the same as they do now. Left turns from off-ramps will not cross paths with conflicting traffic. This will improve safety. Right turns entering an on-ramp will not pass through a traffic signal. Left turning traffic entering an on-ramp goes through one crossover and uses the leftmost lane to turn onto the ramp. Through traffic is guided to the left side of the road at the first crossover and back to the right side at the second crossover. The existing interchange has no bike pedestrian path. The proposed DDI has a protected bike pedestrian path in the median of the bridge. The DDI improves safety and efficiency, reduces crash conflicts, and provides safe bike and pedestrian passage. There are three westbound lanes and two eastbound lanes, allowing for the addition of a bike pedestrian path in the median. The increased efficiency of the DDI allows for this lane reduction. Westbound traffic is diverted to the left side of the road at this first traffic signal. The free left turns create an easy I-95 U-turn in case of a missed exit. Making a wrong way turn onto an off-ramp is extremely difficult. Some vehicles make the free left turn onto the I-95 southbound on-ramp. Notice they do not cross paths with conflicting traffic. Westbound traffic moves along the bridge toward the second crossover. Through traffic is guided back to the right side of the road. Curves on the approaches help to prevent speeding, and the simple two-phase traffic signal improves efficiency.